Hey guys, how's it going? Red Master here and welcome back to another video. And of course, another day, another ranked with red. We are back at it. Uh, trying to see where we can play some decks here. It is almost the end of October. Uh, only about five days left as I'm recording this. So uh, we've ranked most of the decks here, but there are still some that we have to uh, get to. One of them being the first iteration of Piss Zoo. Now we ranked uh, the other version I have, the, the deck two that I had of this a while back to so the beginning of the month. It did not do so hot. So I'm hoping that maybe with things settled down now, maybe things are a little bit different on the leaderboards or the ranked ladder today, we maybe get some stronger uh, performances out of this deck. So uh, without any further ado, I think we should go ahead and hop right into the game. So with that, game number one, folks, coming at you right now. All right, and game number one underway, and honestly, not a bad hand i would probably sub out the blessing but i'm feeling risky i'm gonna try and keep it uh we have the coin too so there's a lot of things working in our favor for this hand specifically up against a yellow blue all right i mean yellow blue i don't see a whole lot of but things have been interesting with with vikings period i feel like uh there's been a lot of them uh, moving around lately activity wise so we'll see what our opponents got for us opening up with a salahar soldier on the opening play here Alrighty. uh nothing we can't really deal with to be honest we should be able to clean this up pretty easily if he's going to pass his turn though that'd be that'd be great um i could coin the ramrus but it feels kind of useless to do that right now i don't think there's really much benefit in us wasting the coin this early uh okay we are gonna get a mana core that's fine i think we'll probably just have to pass there honestly uh yeah you know you don't feel good about it but ultimately i think this is still better than wasting the coin we might just get the mana core out uh turn two honestly but also that feels a bit rough around the edges it might just be a rammer's trade that we put in here because realistically they're both 2-3. They're both going to slap twice. It's not a huge deal. Uh, ooh, that might be an issue, though. Oh, boy. Okay. So, uh, Berserker and Questing. Two fairly decent units to pull off the top there. The one that concerns me is Blacksmith uh, Berserker. Um, we're going to have to hope that if he throws the Berserker... Ooh, actually, he might do it. I was gonna say he could have just traded with the Ramrus, but that's a pretty big mistake here. Uh, oh, okay, or maybe not. He is keeping this out of harm's way. Well, we'll show him the blacksmith because we do want to get our global out as quickly as possible. Um, I don't really want to trade the Ramrus in just yet, though. Um, he has the questing knight, so we wouldn't actually be accomplishing a whole lot here. Plus, it's clearly a bait here for some kind of reanimate uh, shenanigans. Although. You only get, like, what, one unit out of it? Nah. We'll see. I'm more than content with just kind of sitting back here. Even coining out Tarius maybe in the next turn here to start getting us some more resources to utilize. We're not in a bad spot here. Our deck can afford to take a little bit of time to get going, and we can be okay with that. Um, meanwhile, our opponent, I don't know what he's on, but he should start making some moves. Um, at least that's the idea. I would like to think that's the idea for him, but I don't know. I do not know. Um, if he does pass turn four, we could do spiny. I don't know. All right, trap going down. I feel like I was gonna make a cut there, but okay, I guess not now. That's annoying. Um. Hmm. I feel like the worst that it could be is potentially we'll find out yeah the fork lighting and the might neither deflecting shield huh well that's peculiar 
Uh, I gotta say I'm a bit surprised by that. Although now, not really in a great spot here. He could... Uh-oh. Uh Honestly, Deflecting Shield was not on my list of, of cards he would play in that moment. I That might would have been a stronger option for him, but hey... It's not my deck after all, and that actually put us in a weird position here where he can easily just come out with the Questing Knight, pop my Mana Core, and move him for some more face damage. It does leave the Rammers alive here, but knowing what kind of deck this might be, he might have the cleanup to put it away here. Okay, Earth Knight, yeah. So Earth Knight comes out, takes away the Mana Core, Berserker moves into face. Um, oh, stronger at that too, fuck. Um, oh, fuck. Okay, uh, mm, uh, okay, oh, so, <laughs> fuck, not what I was expecting him to do at all, um, oh lord, how do I deal with this now? I guess I could just come around here, right? I can blessing this just to pop the Berserker. And then maybe just coin Tarius. It feels like the play. Yeah. I do need Tarius's draw here. It feels bad wasting a lot of resources there for the Berserker, but for him to not kill off the rammers with the question in that moment here there are a lot of ways he could easily kind of uh, divert all of that instead he went for the dragon christ shield to give the berserker more life which i get but uh, that feels like a bit of a, a rough call to make here and now we're going to see another trap going down here most likely another deflecting shield or might here not entirely sure oh really Oy, oy, oy. All right, well, on the bright side, Lumberjack does help us determine what trap it is without wasting a lot of valuables. Okay, this one is Might, which is not great. Um, That actually helps us a lot. Yeah, that actually helps us a whole hell of a lot. I probably actually didn't even need the spiny play here. Yeah, all right, I'm kind of an idiot for that, but whatever. We'll do the Taurus here. Pops in. Probably because I just wanted more value out of the uh, priest. Yeah. So, trying to debate why I ended up doing that. But yeah, no. The priest value makes sense there. Give us a little bit of a buff to spine here. So this is, this has been sort of like a Voltron deck. If uh, that makes sense. Decks that just look to provide spell. You guys know what Voltron decks are. We've been playing this game for years. <laughs> God damn. All right, and now he's going to try and get a little bit of uh, presence going here. A lot of bodies on the board. A lot of bodies. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we can kind of remove a lot of them in this turn. Mainly the Knight of Flowers and the uh, Question that we can kill off. But the latter, which would put Tarius in danger, which I don't feel like is great to do. We're going to Spiny that uh, top Knight away, most likely. Because that's just going to be a pain in the ass I don't want to deal with. Uh... Yeah, so we're going to do this. Spiny comes up. Our second one, that is. Pop that. Hitting the Earth Knight would be pointless because he has the armor, so there's no there's no real reason to waste it. Um, hmm. I guess we're going to hold the Tarius back. Again, no real reason to kind of just waste it here. And then I think just to put down the extra beef, we throw down a bear. We throw a bear in the middle here, just so, or one of the top lanes, so that way uh, he's not going to be able to deal with it. He's running out of cards in hand, and his deck is, I think, not built to handle swarm-type maneuvers here. So, yeah, we do see the uh, the extra armor on the Earth Knight. Great, but what is that really accomplishing? Not a whole lot. In the meantime, we can probably just push crack this next turn for game. All right, smart here, moving the Earth Knight back uh, to give some protection. Ooh, Warrior as well. The Warrior knockback is cute, I will admit. That yeah, is good. And the Soldier as well. 
Eh, a soldier can do something here, right? I mean, honestly, I don't think it matters. Oh, Lord, and that just kind of sealed the game for him. Um, yeah, there's, there's no reason to just not push all of these in. Again, we're not going to attack here because the armor is less than our hella attack, so hitting it would kind of just result in nothing happening except that we lost a life on our bear it's sort of a negative trade regardless so we're going to leave that and uh yeah this should be the end of the game uh we do have cracks being pushed down all the way bear doing some bear things and uh you know everything else doing everything else it's just effective gameplay i don't know why i switched up there like i did Ooh. well blade all right l blade does remove Craxis, so he's got more life in him than i thought very interesting uh does it matter that much though survey says maybe not let's put the bear down start doing some of the chip and stuff uh we'll move Tarius up a little bit more for some more action griffin and books just to kind of reinforce our line um he still is on single draw has a few a uh, few turns left of it so I really don't find that there's going to be a way for him to counteract this. He's getting a, uh, some stuff built, or some stuff built up, excuse me. But I don't think it's going to matter. Um, well, I think that's going to end the game, right? Do Rampage here. We'll do a little bit of this. Come up here. Eh, we're off one, but we'll make him just eat the Arbiters. We'll kind of put this game away. All right, game number one quite the uh quite the victory there at voltron strategies i mean he had the uh, ability to kind of uh do some big damage early on but i think a bit of a misplay here or there kind of cost him the game which happens it happens but anyways folks we do have some more games to play so let's go ahead and get on into oh game number two all right in game number two our hand is looking significantly worse here i don't ugh. I kind of don't want the bear. I'm keeping the centaur just because it's a companion and it can go burr, but ugh, I'm not happy about it. Oh, up against colors that are going to be a pain in the ass, too. That's a yellow red right there. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, imp coming out, being a nuisance. I could priest to try and block, but what does that really get me? Except potentially a dead priest. Uh, I mean, I gotta go for it. Sure. Not happy, but hopefully it just burns the castle. Hey, let's go burn the castle. So now we have the uh, priest blocking the imp here. A little bit of damage on the castle is no big deal. We do have the second priest to actually bring us back up the full HP. So we're, we're in a good position here. Uh, but yeah, red yellow is definitely gross. And already from the looks of it, our opponent is running some kind of burn strategy, which is just... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's not a bad strategy or matchup for us specifically we do have a lot of big bodies which can tank a couple of the burns but still you know it's just a match that you never want to play out because it's 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 a rough one uh let's go ahead and actually go for the wizard here so we can make more use of our gold uh plus potentially get a priest buff onto the wizard here i'm kind of forcing him to either have bolts or uh let this wizard get a little bit bigger here uh for turn three that's what the yep okay and he got he does have it bolt for the wizard is what we expected here a pass though is what i did not expect him to do he uh slightly forgore to attack with uh the priest here which is i'm not sure intentional or just because what what have you uh it's fine i maybe should have played the armory turn four because uh we could have gotten some more value off the priest uh to heal it but uh, Again, I'm kind of just taking risks that he doesn't have a lot of the burn in his hand to keep up with what I might be doing, so... Uh, we'll see. We'll see. This priest, though, is kind of sitting here looking pretty, doing absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. There it goes. I opened my big mouth. Priest trading here. Tarius Fowl is getting thrown out as well. Salahar Rider. Eh, alright. So, some, some signs pointing to a potential uh, Flamestorm turn 5, which is fine. I'll go for the armory play if he wants to. He can flamestorm and have his rider maybe snipe off my armory. Uh, but that's, again, something that he's got to figure out if he wants to do now or if he wants to wait here. Because honestly, flamestorm against this kind of deck, eh, kind of hit or miss. Um, just because, again, we have, we have some tanky-ass bodies for sure. 
All right, let's go ahead and get Griffin out here. Let's on the damage on the castle, please. Oh, that's not great. All right, well, Ryder ended up hitting the armory here, but our big Griffin does make an appearance on the board here. This should be fine. We do have a nice combo of the Centaur Beast Rage in hand here with the Griffin. Should be able to snipe away any sort of uh, back row that he wants to put out, if he's got any, I should say. That's, again, a big question of if, though. He does, he, our man here has kind of played a little bit more passively than uh, most of the red yellows I've seen. You know, we, we didn't take that priest attack earlier. We kind of just let things go, which is very curious. Oh, Minotaur. Um. Hmm. If only I had another global. I don't. Cause I really don't want to waste the centaur when I can easily just beast your rage and be done with it. And also keep my griffin at that. Hiya. I mean, we might just lose the flame storm, but whatever. It's fine. If he's setting me up for one, if I could take away a big body like Minotaur, that's that's totally fine. We do have, I mean, what does the flame storm really do here? Kind of gets him some draw, kills the griffin, kills the armory. It, it does a fair bit. Okay. And I speak it into existence as, as per usual. The Tarius file is going down. Wizard going down. Okay. Who's boogie? Uh, that's fine. I do uh, have the double centaur for this. So we can actually take this away. Uh, we have the dragon's fire here to get rid of my, my board setup as it is now. Another flame storm could do small wonders, but not big wonders. Uh, Mordok. Oh, fuck. Mordok is a wonder in itself, though. Okay. Thank you, Mordok, for clearing my board, you asshole. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's go ahead and get our own Mordok out. Let's see what our opponent has in terms of uh, all the burns possible for this Mordok. See, here's where I'm going to have trouble now with the Yellow Zoo deck. Um, we're running out of gas here, and we don't have any of our uh, extra draw tools, books, Tarius, none of that. Um, and we've been basically kind of, you know, clean slate burned out a couple times here on this board. So I'm not exactly happy with our standings, but we'll see. We'll see. I have the Mana Corps to do some cool combat tricks, but that would require him to kind of put something out to intercept the Mordok here. Uh, he kind of has to walk into it per se. And I'm not sure if he understands that if I do maybe have the Mordok or if I don't. I don't know. I don't know what's going through my man's head. Horseman. Of course, you can hit the Mordok for the Flame Storm. Oy, oy, oy. I mean, it does kill him off too, so I'm not in the in the total complainy corner. Eh, but still, that's never great. Uh, I guess I might just go Manticore up front. Yeah. Maybe a bit of a bold play by me, but I mean, Manticore either tanks the damage or he, uh, or he dies. So keeping in the back, I don't feel like really achieves too much. And Wizard being the absolute asshole that he is, I'm just going to sit here. If I can get to him though, we have the spiny, so mm, I don't know. Again. This has been a terrible game of our resources being sucked dry thanks to just the constant burn of these colors. And a buffed up Mordok does not help my situation all too much. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Oh boy, oh boy, that... That does not look good. That does not look good, Captain. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Uh, fuck, the second Mordok in hand is just actually brutal. Uh, I mean, I could Arbiter's Return, but what end? He buffed the wizard out of the kill range of the Arbiter. It's, it is it is not a good look. I'm gonna burn out the, okay, sure. Frog Prince, run it down. Yeah, cause I mean, yeah, okay. And buffing everything again is just out of my Arbiter's range here, man. That. That sucks. Uh, well, you know, that simply sucks. Alrighty. I think I'm gonna end that game there. Unfortunately, I mean, I could Arbiters, but again, what does it really achieve in the long run? I think we're just kind of outclassed by the things he's throwing out on the board right now. Which is a shame. 
But you know what? That's fine. That's only one game. There are still three more to play. So let's kind of wipe off the dust and proceed into our next game, match number three. All right, and that next uh, and that next matchup, I can't speak properly, is underway. Um, eh, mm, uh, you know what? I might keep this. I mean, they're three gold, so I'm gonna wait a little bit. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's a uh, school matchup too, though. Oy vey. All right, so I think I'm gonna hold the rammers for now. I don't really think I have a problem with him just kind of doing this. All right, so we do have some tools against school, if it is school, um, which is nice. Uh, the Spiny, the Centaur, the Bestial Rage are all fantastic at dealing with uh, the school-type shenanigans stuff. Ooh, Southport Captain. I know what I want to do with a book that doesn't really have much use to anymore. I want to put him into the Captain. Uh, yeah. It's a one-for-one -one trade, not a big deal. We got our value out of the books anyway, thanks to the draw. Oh, we're actually going to repeat this play. Oh, we're going to face a lot of goddamn birds. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> could I roll? No, not that card game. Uh, oy vey. Hmm, I guess I might just put the books up here put this here put this up here a bit more in case you got to flush out we could also have beast your rage there but uh, i want to save it oh yeah for things like armory Armory's annoying here um let's see how he does this okay fair Yeah, all technically fair things. Um, do I have enough to do? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool, cool. So this is gonna be a little bit of a spicy here. Uh, let's go spiny. Bestial rage. Come up here, pop this, walk over. Pop this, pop the captain, do that. We do lose a companion for potential school sniping, but that's fine. Pararest, though, is quite a card. Con artist. Oy. Blacksmith, too. Going to be a way that he can kind of do a bit more damage here. We might have to put in... Yeah. <sighs> Shit, oh god. Not a fan of it. But just to ensure that we survive, I got to use these cards to to pop the parrot and the lumberjack oy, oy, oy. i don't like that at all game come on don't do that to me all right that's fine we'll make do with what we got rat king what the fuck are you doing rat king for i mean fine but like goddamn um yeah, let's go ahead and do this, I guess. Put the Mordok up here. Ooh, popping more rats. We'll keep, we'll have him keep the upkeep uh, from, from, from the Rat King uh, and pass it back to him. We'll use that as a bait to kind of bring in Kraxis for maybe a bestial range bounce. We'll see. And we do have Arbiters at the end of the day, so I'm not super concerned with taking this damage. We'll be able to kind of repair it quickly. Oh boy, and there is Craxus value, baby. Bop that. Get some cards. I would love to see Lumberjack doing its thing. Not bad, not bad. Uh, the one thing I do worry about though is his own Craxus. Oh, okay, and there goes my Mordok. Very sad. Let us pray for the fallen lad. Let's just bring another Craxus. I don't really think he can do much about these. I mean. Pirates don't have... They have the direct removal, which, I mean... Doesn't work on Kraxus. That deflect is ooh, a very spicy tool. Uh, Alright, Con Artist. Do we have a school yet? I haven't seen a school all game. Okay. 
Alrighty, that's that's a play. Um hmm. I think what I might do here just to get ourselves back up a bit here, let's go ahead and pop the robins with arbiters. And then probably just bestial rage this cracks this here. I hit the Connors too, so get a lot of gold value from this. Yeah, I draw another Arbiter. Okay, we draw another Beast of Rage, so. <laughs> a nice way to replenish what we instantly just lost there. We'll take it. There's the School of Knowledge finally. All right, so now this guy might start popping off with some, some gold here that he's got saved up. He might have just been saving up a lot of gold cards, like the Merchant's Favor, which uh, baffles me that some people just keep that in their School of X as like, the one card cycle. I guess maybe two cards because you got the uh, treasure. Okay. Merchant's Favor. Metal. Merchant's Favor. Hovel. Eh, there's Robins. Robins does some wonders too. It does make the trade here. It does kill off my Craxis. But again, that just means more cards. Another school. Oh, uh, yeah. That's... The second school is a bit of a problem because uh, I don't have a way to get to that very easily. Um, <laughs> I guess what I can do, put the griffin out, uh, we'll do the bestial rage, bop, probably put a mana core out too, so our cracks can actually tank a lot of these shots. Also put it into the school here because again the school is more problematic. The more cards he gets back, um, the better he could do later on in the game here. Uh, so thankfully, instead of giving him uh, two draws, giving him that one off the uh, additional school. And he also has a mana core now to deal with, which isn't exactly easy. Um, okay, there's a crackers of his own hands. Okay. All right, all right, big asshole Craxus. Damn it, that's gonna survive by one, two. Uh, okay. Okie dokie. Alright, well, this is peculiar. He's got 24. Well, we kind of tie out in the long run still. Uh, let's go ahead and get the armory down. Make this trade here. Go ahead and get the wizard out. Do I attack for the seven though? I feel like I should, as much as it sucks that I'm giving him more, I think I can actually end the game here if uh, he's not careful. He needs healing now or else he actually dies. So we just have the wizard and the arbiters unless he arbiter blocks, but that's fine. Another school going down. Oh, merchants. All right, so he's digging. He's digging. Okay, execution does, in fact, kind of work here. Disable, sacred, swiftness. Ooh. Those are some meaty boys. Okay, right, moving all the way away. So I assume he's going to have to put the, a blacksmith in now, because, uh, whoopsies, you kind of left the griffin here doing its thing. Yeah, he didn't mean to move that rat all the way up here because now he has no tar no additional way to kill off the griffin except wasting a blacksmith, which honestly you kind of have to do or else you do lose the game. Okay, there goes the disable and the griffin. Why would you not att I mean, it's your game, not mine. I That's bizarre. Okay, I... <laughs> smartest school player i don't i wasn't stunned i don't i don't, I don't know weird all right uh quite a way to end off game three uh w but uh, let's go ahead and move on into game number four and see what other moments we can find holy moly all right, and game number four underway and uh honestly looking like a good hand here looking like a great hand <sighs> I mean, we have the Mordok, which is not... Uh, yeah, fuck. Why are you my opening hand? 
It's fine. It's fine. We got Priest, Ramrus, Spiny. A lot of good things going on here in the hand here, so we should, uh, should be thankful for that. He'll open up with a Rider, though. Oy, oy, oy. And again, this is just going to be another one of those matchups with uh, red, yellow, burn shenanigans here. I'm probably just going to pass here. I'm not going to coin anything to block. He can just swing in if he wants to. Uh, it's fine. And then, yeah, right and do brighter things. Uh, let me just go around and see if I can tank the damage here. Nope. Fantastic. I love my luck against red yellow players, man. They're so they're so good. So good and skilled. Hit burn card and go burr. Uh oh that's new. Since when did uh <laughs> since when did they start carrying pyromancers in their decks? Alright, let's see if this blacksmith can stick and I can do spiny to get rid of it. Or if he's gonna go a little bit more gung ho. I mean, Lumberjack in the black is still good value because he can get a draw off of it. Like, he can still increase his hand. It might be worth it for him to do. Reinforce. Okay, drawing first. I respect that. Respect off the reinforce. The Lumberjack opting to. Okay. Ho! Nelly. That's that's a hell of a game plan you got there. Move Pyromancer one space forward. Uh, let's go ahead and Lumberjack here. Pop that. Let's get the blast spiny out here. Spiny gonna go ahead and pop the pyromancer. I mean, pyromancer. Oh my god, I am an elo hell, aren't I? I lost one game against the the red yellow player, and now I'm in elo hell again. Ay ay ay. Primordial flame, sure. Um, dwarven paladin as well. Uh, ooh. Okay, paladin doing paladin things, I guess. Oh boy. Okay. Um, I guess let's just go ahead. And, actually, hold on. Let's go ahead and get this done properly before I mess this up here. So this is gonna go here. It's gonna hit. Uh. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. I feel like he just has no proper response to blacksmith, so I'm gonna be more aggressive with him than I normally am. <laughs> my man has has no wrist watch he's gonna have no response to blacksmith and just summon another primordial flame and pass i feel like that's gonna be the move here has to be armory you know what even better if i can hit this please let me hit the ramrus oh thank god oh <laughs> thank god <laughs> That's hot. All right, let's go ahead and get the books in, the wizard up. Well, actually, no, we'll keep the wizard there for now. We'll we'll do this. Oh, blessed, blessed momento. Popping the uh, popping that the way we did. Okay, heavenly shield. All right, all right well, this white knight might be a bit more of a problem. Let's go ahead and see if I can actually kill him before it really takes off, though. Hit for here, hit here. Mordok up, we'll pass it back. I mean, I think the man has to have a dragon's fire here to kind of stabilize. Um, yeah, because white knight's going to take out nothing. Oh, okay, Mordok. Mordok hitting the correct target, based. Uh, horseman can also pop books. Okay, or not. Also fine. I think, is that game? That might be game. Yeah, that's game. With the books around here, smack in. Mordok comes up, hits here. Generate the unit, pop in. Hit the wizard with the castle. Bada bing, bada boom. I felt bad for this guy. My man had a jumble of a deck for sure. Primordial Flame, Paladin, White Knight, that Heavenly Shield. I'm just gonna move on, folks. We got one more game to play here for Pissu. What will match number five entail? Let's go ahead and find out right now. All right, and our last game, our last matchup here, match number five. Uh, honestly, I'm debating on whether I. You know what? I might. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go for it. 
Um, I think the armory here we could make use of. We do have the wolf as an early game play here, so we're not totally out of it. Our opponent is on purple red, though. Oh, and aggressive with the rider, are we? Oh, oof. that's not a draw I want to see. That is Mordok. Mordok is fine, though. We can use him later. I'm happy about it, though. Uh, oh, oh, yo, oh, no, please don't tell me we're running up against the base aggro deck. I swear to God. Uh, let's go ahead and hit Lumberjack in, actually. I think it's going to be fine. I'll take the two more damage. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll get the draw here. I'll actually coin out the wolf as well. I uh, just so I can get a bit more of a presence going. And I can actually use the wolf into the wolf here to make uh, a bit more of a value trade if I want to. Depends on what he throws out, though. Flame Prince. Oh, all right. Uh, we can't reach that flame print yet, unfortunately, so it's going to be a bit of a uh, slow burner for him. Annoying, but also fine, unless he decides to block with it, because I have a feeling that that's what this guy might try to do. I wish I had the fucking coin now. Fuck. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Ooh, never mind. Pulled what we wanted. Pulled what I needed. There is the wolf rampage. Come around here. Pop into that. All right. I mean, listen. The wolf bestial rage is a dirty combo. True, but like, it's so effective. You can't deny it. It's so effective. All right. Now this man. Okay, this man can do a clean up here. Uh, not well, almost. Uh, there goes the wolf buffing our other wolf that's fine use that opportunity to get armory out on the board here and i just chomp away to even out the scores he's got to put something else into this so we can just kind of pass with just setting up the armory we have like wizard and centaur stuff that come out next turn Ooh. uh that is a potential issue actually hold on it might not be let's get wizard here a demon hunter's gonna hit the board that's fine uh okay yep there goes the wolf he needs to have some kind of fear or burn for our wizard or else uh nope altar altar is not gonna help you out king altar is not gonna be it pyromancer sure get him out it is not going to matter. Uh, we'll just end the game here. Walk right in. The wizard connecting and the centaur for the finishing blow. Quick game number five, but still an effective one. Still collecting the W and getting our final rank of 26-26 for the original Piss Zoo deck. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I do think that second game cost us for sure, but you know what? It's okay. Uh, this was an, a much more needed improvement for the Piss Zoo overall. Uh from the beginning of the month when we hit that uh that 22 rank with it uh but you know what i think today was uh, a successful day so with that being said folks let's go ahead and move out to close this video all right folks and with that being said that does of course bring us to the end of a another episode if you guys did enjoy be sure to let me know your thoughts on today's matches by leaving your thoughts down in the comment section below and uh while you're down there if you haven't done so already be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it, share it with your friends and of course subscribe if you're new or haven't done so already to the platform it is the best way that you could support the channel and help us grow at no additional cost to you so with that being said until next time guys stay gaming